What's going on guys? Chris here, also known as HTV Layer Pro. I'm going to tell you a couple of reasons why I choose soft metallics over foils. So, one of the reasons why I choose soft metallics over foils is because it's a one part process. You literally use this just as you would use HTV and that is cutting, weeding, and pressing it. Compared to using a foil where you have to use hot melt, um, cut the hot melt, press the hot melt, and then put the foil on top. So it's a two step process. Um, most people like convenience, so with convenience of this being a one part process, um, and not only that, um, the durability of it and the stretch of it is a whole lot better than foils. That's one another reason why I like it as well. Number two, the wash. The wash of this is way, way better. You don't have to worry about it graying out after one wash or um, only putting it on certain types of garments. You'll be able to put this, decorate your any type of shirt with this. I've done it on polyester shirts and cotton shirts and they both work just fine. Um, I actually, we're actually going to do a cotton shirt with it on there. Um, a design I have made up just so that uh, I can give you guys an example of the finish of this right here. And this is actually one of my favorite soft metallic suit, the round rainbow. Um, outside of, you know, one of my other favorites, uh, silver and gold hollow shine, those are my top, top two right there. But this round rainbow is also like one of the popular colors um, or uh, design materials with the soft metallic as well. Um, and again, these are all specialty materials, uh, soft metallics. Um, color count, I'm gonna have the book right here. Uh, it's 48 different colors, two pages worth of soft metallic colors um, with specialty. So you're getting not only uh, choices and you know what colors you can you can actually put on your designs, but um, the, the different textures and, and, and patterns too. So I admire um, having options when it comes to doing you know your decorations, and you get the same amount with foils too as well, um, uh, which they also do sell, uh, and I'll go to here as well. But again, I would much, much rather have the convenience of a one part compared to a two part. And still being able to use a hot melt for other things as well. So um, let's go ahead and get to the design on the shirt and um, we gotta show you the durability of it on the shirt um, and the press. So I am gonna use the round rainbow. Um, for this particular design that I chose to make um, that we're gonna put on the t-shirt. Um, another reason why I like actually using soft metallics too is what I didn't mention before is it cuts really, really well when it comes to doing details. Like because it's so fine, um, you don't have to worry about it coming up off the carrier or, um, or anything like that as you would with some HTVs. Um, uh, I normally, on, on just this particular cutter, um, it's, uh, this medium medium uh, pressure as far as the um, uh, blade is concerned you still lose the blade out just as much as you would for your regular HCV um, and uh, just, just let it go uh, so I'll go ahead and put this in here all right so this is the design that I'm using I just made this thing up just a little design with the skateboard some van sneakers and um, the word skate so um, what I'm about to do is I'm gonna cut this in that round rainbow. Um, I did have this uh, set up already uh, to 12 by 12, um, just to put it kind of big on the shirt. Um, make sure you flip your design there, and it does have quite a bit of uh, detail in it as well. So um, the weeding part but of course I enjoy the, the, the weeding process of doing any of this type of work here so I'm not too worried about that but um, yeah let's go ahead and get this cut and put on the shirt
out another thing too to mention about the soft metallics is they come on a 20 yard uh, core. So um, be mindful of that when you do order this from specialty materials. Um, it does come on a 20 inch core roll. Soft metallics are really, really easy to read too. I know for some people they don't like weeding, but this is something I actually enjoy doing, so. So again, this is the round rainbow um, from specialty materials. You can't get this from them. Um, this is one of the patterns in the material uh, that it comes in. When it comes to something colorful like this, um, I like to do it on dark colors just because it pops out more on, on, a, on a darker color. So um, black, um, a darker blue, like a dark gray. Um, the colors pop more because the t-shirt is not taken away from uh, the design itself so you'll be pressing this at uh, I do it at 320 um, 320 degrees and I press this for 10 seconds and this is a cold pill so um, Like I said before, um, I tend to not like to second press um, the design just because it is a cold pill. Um, and sometimes when you do hit these two times instead of just once, um, it adds like a texture to it instead of it being like a straight sheen solid um, uh, press. So uh, be mindful of that when you do, if you do go back and try to press it again for a certain amount of time. If you are going to do that, do it with the carrier still on, not not taking it off and then pressing it with the Teflon because then sometimes it will melt and it will get stuck to the Teflon. If you press it too long, it's too much pressure. Just letting it cool down a bit. I like to take one of the Teflon pillows and I just rub it on there just to take away some of the heat. And again, like I said, if you're gonna hit this for a second time, you do it with the Teflon sheets because you love 
carry it. So I'm going to do it just one more time just for good, good measures. Wait till I take it off. Take the carry off. All right. And sometimes you have to take the shirt off of the actual press because this silicone holds heat too as well. So sometimes keeping the t-shirt on this thing will keep the t-shirt uh, design hot on it to where it's gonna take a longer time for you to be able to pull the actual carry off. All right, and let's take this off. It's all nice and cold and ready to peel off. So I normally just peel off real slow. And again, you're only doing one peel. One hit with the heat press. And there you go. That's it, and that's our design came out nice and this is the round rainbow And that's the design right there with the soft metallic round rainbow. And again, like I said, these types of designs always look good on darker t-shirts. So that's it. I'm probably going to press the bottom of that to get the rainbows out of it for picture purposes. But yeah, definitely recommend this over foil. Again, durability of it. See that? It stretches with it. You don't have to worry about it. It's still still stays it's real real good stretch with this the wash is also awesome on this thing right here you can see i'm not and it stays the same so you don't have to worry about it wrinkling or tearing or anything like that it's some good stuff way way more durable than the actual foils so one of my top products right here that i like using um, and again, the silver and gold hollow shine is my top two um, out of the whole entire specialty material line. Um, the hollow shine gold and hollow shine silver. But that's it there. Um, all right, so if you guys have any questions or comments on this right here, leave it down at the bottom so I'll be able to read them. Not gonna answer any of those questions. Also, you guys can get this material, like I said, from specialty materials. Dot com. If you want samples of it, go ahead and hit the sample department up. They will send this out to you. Um, and you can also still buy this too on the heattransferfinal.com website. I will have my discount code down in the description so you guys can leave uh, uh, use that on your purchases. Um, until next time, uh, I'm out. Mm -hmm.